<laughs> it's a little tense around here tonight because I cussed a little earlier on and um, some people got upset. <laughs> you believe this? He's maybe he's maybe helpful with me now. I'm getting the stink eye. I'm getting <laughs> the stink eye. He's good. I'll come after you, man. I'll uh, me and my horse and my other part of the horse. Yeah. Yeah. You see that horse nodding at you? That you know what? He's getting ready. You kick a door open, man. Kick a door open. Yeah. See that? Yeah. 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 It's going to get lively around here tonight. The horse is in a bad mood. I am tripping my balls off. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, I'm worked up, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Everything's a little tense. And the reason that, can I say what I just said? Or are you going to bleep it in some way? Which will, of course, be difficult because we're live. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I swear I will come out there and get yeah. all of you. Come here, come here. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. Yeah. 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 See, you guys, you messed with the wrong creepy foreigner and his horse. And his gay robot skeleton pal. Right, guys? Kick your ass, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, tight. it's time things got a little wah around here. Yeah. It was good, but, you know. Hey, hey, hey! It's not a real horse. The hell? Sponsored by Dewar's Highlander Honey, the drinking man's honey. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. by you. <laughs> you got me ready. Mm, yeah. yeah. Very, a very exciting crowd. We're live tonight, so it's like, whoa, yeah. the atmosphere is Big life. crazy. Like, you don't want to do anything crazy when you're actually live. Like, you don't want to come out and go, what's up? Like that. Like, ah. Oh, no. It's a Scottish term. <laughs> you, sir, are a racist, a racist. <laughs> Racist. Racist, right there. I can't believe it. Yeah, it's a traditional Scottish greeting. <laughs> That's true. That is true. And so you are oppressing my people. <laughs> I'll do it again anyway. What's up? <laughs> oh. Oh, hey. I may not have said it, but I was thinking it. <laughs> Like it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> Do you like my new thing? It's my new thing. Like that. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's what kind of a grandpa move. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. 
What's up? <laughs> oh, you doing it too? Yeah, how, how about you get your own thing, man? <laughs> hey, 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 pick a side. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a great day for the fans of the rock and roll because the uh, Bonnaroo music, uh, Bonnaroo, Bonnaroo, not Bonnaroo, that's a crap festival. Bonnaroo! <laughs> Bonnaroo Music Festival starts the day in Tennessee. A great lineup this year. Paul McCartney and Tom Petty. If you know anything about me, uh, you know I love Paul McCartney oh, and Tom. Yeah. I love them. I love when they perform together. Do we have a picture of when they did that? Yeah, look at them. <laughs> To another big act at Bonnaroo is Mumford and Sons. I like Mumford and Sons. Well, I like Mumford. His sons are jerks. <laughs> you get a picture of Mumford and Sons? There they are. See, see the guy with the paper there? Uh, that's uh, Mumford. Uh, he had his sons when he was about two years old. And they all live in a cupboard like Harry Potter. And each one of them is Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. You know, my only problem, <laughs> my only problem with Mumford and Sons is the guy playing the banjo has all his teeth. That is not authentic. <laughs> and some people say that Mumford and Sons carry on the proud Celtic folk tradition, and other people say they're just Coldplay with banjos. I say both, <laughs> and I love it. Then again, we, uh, we like that kind of music where I'm from, the, the leprechaun rock. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I got my thing. Oh, that is, yeah. <laughs> Do you know who else is going to be at Bonnaroo this year? This is true. DJ Jazzy Jeff. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but, but no Fresh Prince, no Will Smith, just Jazzy Jeff. Because he doesn't want to be seen with Will Smith since the After Earth movie. <laughs> <laughs> let it go, Craig. How about you let it go? <laughs> no, you let it go. No, you let it go. You let it go. No, you let it go. You let it go. You let it go. What the hell? What the hell is that? <laughs> was that a, you let it go? What about then if I did a, you let it go? No, no. Let's try it again. Yeah. You let it go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway. Anyway, this year, Bonnaroo is going to have live streaming. But uh, enough about R. Kelly. Let it go, Craig. Yeah. Let, oh, yeah. Oh, me. Oh, me. Because I was the one that did it. I didn't do it. <laughs> well, I did, but no one else was there. It's amazing you can watch the whole concert on the internet. We've come a long way from Woodstock, you know, when they said, you know, if you can remember it, you weren't there. <laughs> and I can't remember it, which means I was there. Uh -huh. It's not even right. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, it's not often I come out and get completely confused by what's going on. <laughs> but I am. You know that every music festival always says it's about love and music until you refuse to play, you know, pay the 200 bucks for the ticket, then they taser your hippie ass. <laughs> See, the tough thing about the music festivals, if you've got a lineup, it's to, you know, you have to book what's cool and not what's lame, but the line is very difficult, it's, it's always changing. Yeah. You know, for, for example, right now it would be considered lame for a festival to book Justin Bieber, but probably cool to book his monkey. <laughs> but, but you cannot book the monkey because Bieber left him in Germany! <laughs> yeah, let it go, Craig. No, you, you let it go like Justin Bieber let his monkey go in Germany! Let it go, man. Let no, man! That monkey was living the rock star dream. Now he's, he's in Germany! Now he belongs to us. No, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, I must just scrap. You are you know, the, monkey. the monkey's going around the, the zoo yard going like that, getting the dirt out of his pants like in <laughs> yeah, that movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more bananas for you, monkey. <laughs> Please, one more banana and perhaps a tire swing to play on. First, give us the information about the Bieber. <laughs> Baby, please. Okay, here's the banana.
Oh yeah, the Bonnaroo Festival. I was talking about the Bonnaroo Festival. Bonnaroo is a funny word. It's half Cajun, half Australian. Bon is French, uh, it means uh, good, and aru is Australian, it means the ass of a kangaroo. <laughs> to admit a lot of this crap is uh, made up on the fly right now yeah. it doesn't make any sense no. no no let it go let it go don't you you let it go <laughs> anyway Bonnaroo's in Tennessee the weather forecast says it's gonna be very hot in Tennessee this weekend there you know Paul how hot is it gonna be how how hot is it gonna be Jeff well, uh, Paul McCartney will be singing uh, live and let fry yeah there you are <laughs> Tom Petty will be uh, free falling into the kiddie pool. <laughs> Wu Tang Clan will be asking for a Wu Tang fan. Good, yeah. <laughs> what about people will be begging R. Kelly to urinate on them? Yeah, How about that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it. Blame yeah. me. <laughs> 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 no. wait, wait. So the applause break comes for the urination. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Well, know your audience. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you have to. Well, if that's the kind of thing you want. <laughs> so that's it. I'm done. That's enough of that late night monologue that's crap. It. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. done. Yeah. It was good. You went out strong. Really? I, yeah. I don't know. I think I went a little too far with the R. Kelly stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> what about when I came out and said, What's up? Yeah, that was great. Yeah, but yeah. then, you know, the... Uh, the other thing, yeah. The other thing, yeah, yeah. They got all mad, and then I was oppressed by the man. <laughs> yeah, man. You say, see when this TV show thing's over, man? I'm coming to look for you. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you write down anything you like, man. Write it down. You write it down. Yeah, write down the date. I am coming to look for you. <laughs> yeah, I am. That's right. When this is done. I'll come and find you. <laughs> me, me and my buddy Jeff, we're gonna come find oh, you. Yeah, and he's gonna go like that to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you laughing now, you'll be laughing. You'll be laughing later as <laughs> well. Yeah. We gotta take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Having some issues with the rusty trombone? Yeah. My trombone is so rusty it fell apart right in the middle of what I was doing. I'll just put it down there safely in its cage. <laughs> Get down there! You ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's do a quick Mumford yeah, and Sons. Right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to welcome you back with my traditional Scottish greeting, but apparently I'm not allowed to use it. <laughs> this is going to the, all the way to the Supreme Court, man. This is going to the Supreme yeah. Court. Yeah. Yeah, and when we win, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to go, what's up? And then I'm going to say the other word, right? Yeah, you're going down, man. Yeah, you're going down, man. This is the new America where people like us defeat people like you. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is our time, man. Your time is gone, man. Gone. Sitting there in the dark with your little headphones going, I'll write things down. You write things down, man. Yeah. Get out of your way. Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, me, my gay robot skeleton, and my crazy ass horse are going to come yeah. over there and we're going to mess up your stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll take your pen. <laughs> Yeah, we'll put your papers somewhere where you can't find them, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, what time is it, Jeffrey? It's please? tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who is right in the middle of a live stream. <laughs> Play the jingle, go on. Surfing the net and riding the tweets. 
I'd sure like to find your dainty sweater meat. I could be your kumquat, and you could be my beach. And we would ride the waves from the ocean to the beach. Yeah. Wow. It. <coughs> I haven't seen that one in a while. You seen hell, that one? Who's that, man? Uh, that's, a, I, 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 that's terrible, that Dust one, isn't it? <laughs> Dusted that one off. Yeah, that's like, that's from the old days. I'll tell you how old that is. It was before they had to put the bars on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it was shot in low def. <laughs> <laughs> low def? Yeah, low def. He'll be performing at the Bono no, Festival. As no, well. no, he won't. Uh, all right, this is from Lawrence in San Diego. You ever been there? Love that place. Do you really? What's your favorite part oh, of San Diego? I love the, uh, the middle part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice. <clears throat> um, <laughs> this is from Lisa in Squaw Valley, California. You ever been there? Squaw Valley? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the one. Is. That's where you go. Yeah, the squaws. A lot of squaw. <laughs> Ve be very careful. No, that's what yeah, I'm saying. No, we're, they'd be very, we're, we're wandering into territory where we could be insensitive. Oh, no, oh now we're worried about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear Craig and Jeff, who's the best actor you ever saw? Easy. Uh, Seth Rogen. Oh, yeah. yeah. No doubt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Best actor I ever saw. No. No contest. Best actor I ever saw. Best actor in the world. Uh, best actor in the world. Daniel D. Lewis, hack! Hack! No, he should have been Lincoln, Seth Rogen. <laughs> He'd have made a better Lincoln. He would have been a better Lincoln. Yeah. A little more, put a little fun in it. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty tragic story. You want to put, get Seth in there, have a, you know... Make it a, fun. Yeah, make it, make it a little more, uh, yeah. a little more kind of a... Uh, guess what? Happened? Yeah. <laughs> who's uh, who's on the show tonight? Oh, Seth Rogen. That's a coincidence. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. This is from Alan in Sy oh, Alana in Syracuse, New York. Used to be Alan, now Alana. Oh. And, uh, hey, you know. Yeah, hey, you know, love all the people. Like you said, it's all good. Uh, Alana uh, says, uh, "Hi, Craig and Jeff. I'm getting married in three weeks, and I never told my husband about my adventurous days." As Alan. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should I tell him before or after we tie the knot? Well, you, it really depends on how far down the line you are with the whole transition. <laughs> I mean, if you're all the way down there, then don't worry about it. But if you're still kind of, still kind of halfway there, it's probably better to give him a heads up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> heads up. <laughs> Does that seem fair? Yeah. Seems fair. Is that right? Were you upset about that? What the hell, man? This is part of life, man. Part of life. Oh, welcome to the 21st century. What the hell, man? Yeah, what the hell, man? Stop oppressing us! <laughs> this is from Iris in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm not going to read it out because she sent me a picture of a flamingo, and I hate flamingos. No. So, uh... Mm. Yeah. Want to have a quiet moment? Uh, sexy quiet moment, though, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, sexy yeah. quiet moment, okay. guest tonight co-wrote and co-directed and stars in This Is The End, which is in theatres now. Take a look at that. <laughs> Seth Rogen, Nice. There you go, look at that. 
Look at that. They got up in their feet. They That's like you. That's nice. That's so lovely. Yeah, you, you it's guys. good because I don't like them at all. Me either. It's crazy. I hate they, myself, they, so it feels no, very nice for that. No, you can't but. hate yourself. Look at you. You look great. You look like Thank James you. Bond with a I beard do. and glasses. Exactly. I'm the Jewish James Bond. It's, uh, <laughs> I've realized that I make movies that are so disgusting and filthy that I have to counterbalance it by dressing really nice when I, <laughs> <laughs> when I, I go got, on talk I've got to be honest with you. I, I watched the movie, and I was like, this is, might be the sickest, twisted, uh, because there's stuff in there I thought, I thought I was the only one that had ever thought that. Yeah. You're I, not. No! <laughs> it, and I have, there's a couple of performances, uh, Michael Sarah and yeah. uh, uh, Channing Tatum, uh, both, Channing Tatum, uh, that cameo that he does. It's, it's unbelievable. He's, <laughs> I, he, he, will he work again? I don't know. <laughs> I think he'll be okay. He'll be all right. He'll be yeah. all right. But it's, uh, it's yeah. very, you're going to get in trouble for this. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. yeah it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah. No one will be allowed to do this again. This is it. This is too uh, yeah, crazy. Yeah. It, uh, and also, I there's think a lot of penises in the movie. Oh, yeah. That, there's, uh, that belong to giant monsters, which isn't. And they have sex with movie stars, yeah, which is yeah. not something you see a lot of in film. I have to but. say, though, the, <laughs> the exorcism of Jonah Hill is yeah. one of the, uh, will go down as a classic piece of American cinema. I think though. it will. Yeah. It, it's fantastic. Thank you very fantastic. much. Someone had to exorcise him, so I'm glad it, it was. It something. really is. Yeah. <laughs> it really is something. I don't. Thank you so much. It's very. It's a bizarre movie. It's yeah. very bizarre. Yeah. I, I, are you in therapy? Uh, <laughs> the movie it was kind of therapy in some ways for yeah. a lot of us. I, mean, I thought there was maybe a kind of homoerotic thing going oh, on. Oh, for with, sure, yes. You yes. and uh, Jay Baruchel, it's a very, it's a, it's a, a couple's movie. And me and James Franco, yeah. There's a well, lot. Well, Franco's the other woman, yeah. and then you. Yeah. Uh, it's a love triangle. It yeah, is a love it's, a, it's a love triangle. And you can cut the sexual tension with a knife <laughs> <laughs> or a giant demon's penis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah more, more giant demon penises. Exactly. Than, uh, wow. <laughs> <knives>. It's. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Did you, ever, did you ever point when you were filming, you know when the giant monster comes and the thing's swinging? Yeah. And, uh, did, did you ever think, perhaps we've gone too far? Yeah. <laughs> we like that. That's when we really think we're onto something. If, right if we're standing there thinking like, oh, this, we, we can't do this. That's where we're like, we should definitely do this. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do to you in Canada? Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been, every time I go to Canada, they're nice. They gave me an award there last week. Look, I, I'm smoking a pipe now. That's how much nice. money. Yeah. Look at that. I won an award. <laughs> they gave you a pipe? No, no, no. I just smoked okay. a pipe now. <laughs> I won an award. Because you're, distingu you're distinguished, I'm distinguished now. Yeah, yeah. What was the award? Uh, it was the Sir Peter Ustinov uh, Award for Services to Comedy. Wow. That's great. I haven't won that. And nope, it's a Canadian nope. award? I, you, you, you might have won. It's very Canadian uh, because it's very small. Oh, uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, in fact, it's over there. Stay there. I'll, give it, I'll bring it over. You have put it? it on the mantelpiece. Hold on. Nice. <laughs> so, I don't know why the music started, but... Uh, <laughs> it's getting your award music. Yeah, right. So, I... That's uh, the tiniest award I've ever it's, seen in it's my tiny, entire life. It's tiny, isn't it? That's so like Canada, to give a very yeah. humble, it's like, nice, we don't want to be in your face about it, but here's a little award. You Enjoy know, it. <laughs> Do you know, uh, Will Arnett got one when he was there? He's Canadian, right? Everyone but me is yeah, one of these awards. Yeah, yeah. What the hell's so happening? Will Arnett, he gets one, and he's yeah. a Canadian, so he said, I watched his speech when he was getting it, and he said, is this a trap? <laughs> <laughs> Because he's a Canadian. He's, do you have that self-deprecating Canadian thing? Do you worry about getting above yourself? I do. I think as a Canadian Jew, that's like as self-deprecating as it possibly yeah. gets in general. Uh, yeah, as you can see. I think in the movie we make fun of ourselves a yeah, lot. A it's lot. a self-deprecating yeah, yeah, movie in general. I can't believe Sarah did that in the bathroom, man. I know. Is, it's crazy, right? I, I was like... Wow, Ken. He had no it, problems doing that either. I it's bet like, he didn't. Not, I'd yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. I'd do it. I just don't want you to film yeah, it. That's one, all. One of the girls was not thrilled about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I can guess which, yeah. I can guess which one. Yeah, yeah, I can guess which one. Can you say yeah. that? You can oh, say it. Oh, we can say it. The one in the back. Yeah. 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 Of oh, yeah, because you haven't seen the movie yet, have you? No. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. There's uh, one in the back. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. <laughs> How's it, the last time I saw you, were leaving to get married. You still married? I am, thank God. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That. Yeah, that would be.
That would be super awkward. It would be super awkward. It would be really awkward if you went, actually, no. Actually, no, I'm yeah. literally getting divorced today, so Yo, that's true. That, that, that'd be horrible. That'd be painful. Yeah. Well. Did you know? I, did you actually just go out on that? Yeah, yeah, I, I realized you I was... You didn't know. I didn't As you were asking, you are like, this could be disastrous. It could be, yeah. <laughs> but then I thought back to the monologue and thought, it can't be as bad as that. It can't be that so, bad. <laughs> but you and Baruchel, I think, would make a very cute couple. I think you? we would, too. Yeah, I, I hope I would be the dominant one in the couple. <laughs> That's all I think. That's not the way I read it really? at all, man. Really? No, no. no. You were the cuddler, and he's the kind of he's provider. The, he's the provider? I, mean? <laughs> I am a bear. I'm a bear. Yeah, you're a bit of a bear. Yeah, I'm a you're bit a of a bear. bear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was like, in the straight world, I'm just a chubby guy, but in the gay world, I'm a bear. bear which yeah, is yeah. really way cooler. I think it's cooler, yeah. Yeah. Do you, have you got a bear bumper sticker on your car? I should. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bear. It's a little paw thing on it's the back. True. I look for it all the time like, oh. I do live in West Hollywood, so I... <laughs> <laughs> Don't give away your address. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Wait, where, though? Uh, no, no, I don't. No. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Seth Rogen. <laughs> We're back uh, with Seth Rogen, everybody. Uh, Seth and I were talking during the break, and we've come to an agreement that if we're a couple, yes. then I will be the one who... Will... What's that coming I go? Right. <laughs> <laughs> From a third party. Yeah. <laughs> Much like Michael Sarah in the bathroom. Exactly. The the movie. <laughs> it's true. It's wet. That'd so, be the couple uh, I want to be. Yeah, so how, how are things? Uh, the, you're still married. Still so, married. Yeah, yes, and, thank God. Uh, getting great. along okay? You getting along all right? I think we're getting along very well. She's really? not angry at me that we're not married anymore, so that's a major... Uh... Was, she angry? was she angry before? Yeah, I, until we got married, I didn't realize that there was like a veil of rage that I was living under that I hadn't... We'd been together like eight years and right, I hadn't right, asked yeah. to marry me. So rightfully so, but everything... There was some tension. There was tension. As yeah. soon as they have the conversation, it's you're it's too late and we had had the conversation like three years earlier something like that so i was an idiot i was completely no stupid. no it's fine yeah. it's fine now everything's fine I, i'm this exact i've been with my wife about actually a little longer but yeah. uh but when we got married it, it go better now it's better now, now it's, it's better, better. Yeah. But she doesn't hate me a little bit for right. not having asked her to marry her i wonder if there's anything else you can do to hate them make them hate you less even more I would love to know. If yeah, it's yeah. If there's anything. <laughs> I think listening, but that's no. Who can do that? <laughs> I know. I'd rather be hated. Yeah, like, hate a little bit. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> Definitely, it's bad. So, listen, I feel bad. I feel I was vainglorious showing you my award. I, you are rubbing salt in a wound yeah, yeah, to some degree, I'll be totally honest. Yeah, no, I, I feel bad. Uh, so, uh, so I apologize. It's okay. It's yeah. not a very big or fancy award. Hey, so hey, I'm... hey! <laughs> you know, don't harsh on my, war, my award. I mean, this is my award. It is. And it's Sir, what is it? Sir Peter used to know for Comedy Award. Nice. Yeah, he, he, he's dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So he doesn't know about it. If he were he alive, he doesn't know you won yeah, the yeah. award. If yeah. he if he were alive, he'd be like, "Can we give it to someone else?" Yeah. Uh, what about Seth Rogen? He's he's Canadian. Yeah, and I'm at least he's, Canadian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what part of Canada are you from? Vancouver, Vancouver British Columbia. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the uh, West Coast. Yeah, part that's of Canada. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know that. I've been there. <laughs> Have you been to the Red Robins in there? Oh my God, it's so funny you bring that up. That's my parents' favorite restaurant. Really? Robin, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like grew up. It was like a joke among all my friends. It's like you'd go to Red Robin and you'd see me and my family there. And they actually just closed the one that we went to all the time. There's only one Red Robin left in Vancouver, so they're that endangered is an species. Outrage. Technically, yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. But me and my dad, we literally went there last time I was in Vancouver. They have bottomless fries. <laughs> And I don't mean fries without pants on. Yeah. I mean unlimited. <laughs> they have that fries. in Vancouver. As exactly. Well. They also yeah, have they, that. They got. It. If yeah. we could do that in a movie, we would. <laughs> I think in a way you did. We kind of did. I think. I think Danny McBride is the bottomless fry. He's the bottomless of fries oh of our movie. I'm scared of him now. After that movie. He's really nice in real life. Is he really? He would not eat you. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <Yeah. laughs> Seth Rogen, everybody. We're right back.
Maybe it's me, but if I saw hot girls dancing around in tight outfits, I wouldn't use the handheld camera to get close-ups of my ass. <laughs> When this thing's over, we're coming to look for you, buddy. <laughs> you write, go write it down, write it down. <laughs> yeah, you write it down. <laughs> you, yeah, you write it down too. <laughs> Jeff, write it down. <laughs> we're all writing it down, pal. <laughs> My next guest is a fantastic actress. Her show Mad Men is on Sunday nights on AMC. Take a look at this. <laughs> Elizabeth Moss, everybody. Elizabeth Moss. Look at you, blondie. That's right. You went blondie. You like now, it? Yeah, I do. I like it very much indeed. Is that your natural yeah. color when you're not on the show? No. Come on. <laughs> Nothing natural about this. Really? No. It's very good. Thank you. Do you have a colorist? I do have a very good colorist. Her name I don't, is Anya. Her, her, her name is? Anya. Anya. She's fantastic. She's great. She does that. Ho, 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 ho. No, no. Not, that, not that one. That's Anya. <laughs> That's Anya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do, do, you like, do you like the work of Anya? Do you enjoy the work? <laughs> She's great, too. Really? Have you yeah. ever met her? No, I haven't. No, nobody has. <laughs> I don't think she exists. You don't think so? I, don't think, I think they just have a computer that goes, oh. <laughs> but I have the same birthday as Anya. Do you really? Yeah. When's your birthday? 17th of May. Wow. Ask me when Anya's birthday is. When's Anya's birthday? 17th of May. <laughs> This is what your publicist <laughs> wants you to talk about, isn't it? Exactly. No, exactly. no. Congratulations on the Mad Men show. Thank that's, you. That's doing well. Yeah. I, I've, just, I've realized what, we, what we're missing, what we need, though, is more monsters with giant penises. <laughs> Listen, I know John Hamm. You're doing fine. <laughs> yeah. That's right up. Yeah, you did. That's right, that's right, right. If you deliver them, I'm just going to set them right there. I'm gonna put them I'll tell you why, because I've got an award, oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. Very so, impressive. You, you got any awards? I do, actually. I, I, I have a, a couple of awards. Really? What kind of awards yeah. you got? I won a, I won a Critics' Choice Award. This Congratulations. Yeah. That's the big one. Yeah. 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 It's a little... It's bigger it's than bigger, that? It's a little bigger than that uh, uh, wait. No, they don't need to be that big. <laughs> it's bigger. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not anything, the size. It's anything would be bigger. <laughs> what, is it like a like a, a vase of some kind? It's like a column with a star on top. Oh, two penises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not... Yours isn't penisy at all. <laughs> That isn't, no. Uh, <laughs> strangely enough, that's exactly what my penis looks like. <laughs> oh, dear, no. Oh. No, we shouldn't talk about that. Uh, so where are you from originally? I'm from here. I'm from Los Angeles. Los Angeles? I Which am. part? Uh, you like that, the horse leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the horse is like, oh, great, <laughs> yes. finally. Uh, Laurel Canyon, mainly. Laurel Hollywood Canyon? Hills. Yeah, yeah. Then where did you go? Uh, then I went to New York. Mm. Yeah, then I, I li I've lived in New York since I was 19. Ah, nice. Where yeah. did you live in New York? East Village, mainly. I used to live in the East no Village. No way! I way, girl, Are you way! Serious? Yeah. I lived, uh, for my first place in the East Village was above Venino's Bakery, right? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, right. I lived above there. And then I moved to B on 10. Okay. Yeah. My, uh, my old apartment was 9th Street between 1st and 2nd uh, Avenue. Mm mm, come on. That's right. Did you ever go to uh, Odessa? The uh, the Russian restaurant on No, I know what you're talking about. But uh, I never Avenue went there. It's great. Really good. Yeah, yeah, really good. There's some yeah. great places around. You can there. get very good borscht. <laughs> oh, my mom loves borscht. Borscht. Did you ever go to Veselka? Is that a restaurant? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so they've got great borscht. No, I borscht. used to go to Odessa for borscht. <laughs> do you have to say it like that? I do because I'm an award winner. <laughs> Of course, I haven't won the big penis award from the critics, but, you know, but fingers you crossed. Dream. Yeah, a man can dream.
and I frequently do. Um, so you live in New York. I love New yeah, York City, but yeah. I haven't been there in a long time. I love New York. I still live there and still in East Village, just not really? on 9th Street anymore. But it's very different though, the East Village. When I lived there, it was very tough. Now it's very uh, genteel. Oh, it's, yeah, it's the Starbucks lovely. and Whole Foods. Yeah. Yeah, it's changed a lot. In Tompkins Square Park, they have people with children. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, when I was there, you could not go into that no, park. as an adult. Yeah, uh, yes. No, totally, absolutely. In I fact, know. the only way to go in would be as a child disguised as some kind of bear. <laughs> <laughs> nice callback. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's tired. You know, it's, it's late. I'm getting a little tired. I... Man, I can't believe you criticized me. Oh, yes, you've got a Critics Award, though. Yes, huh? yeah. Right. That's a better callback. Uh, that was cool. Do you still do the theater in New York? Do you go to the theater? Uh, yeah. I haven't been in a while. I've been out here shooting, shooting Mad Men, yeah. so I haven't gotten really to, to see anything. Do you go? Nah. No. No. <laughs> I, I don't care for it. <laughs> Why don't you like it? Well, it's all that pretending yeah. that we do in there, and then the chairs are so uncomfortable. Right, right. <laughs> and I've, I'm a germaphobe as well. I don't, like, I don't like being near other people. Do you go to the movies? No. Yeah. I, I go to, I stay in my house. Yeah. <laughs> And when I get home, I put shoe boxes on my feet, and I, uh, and I, most of my time is spent shaving. That sounds super weird. I'm very, very weird indeed. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. I like the way you right. drink. I like the way you drink your water, though. It's like you've got soup. <laughs> it's like going, ah. I know he needs like a spoon. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, thick and vegetable-y. <laughs> This is how we'll drink our borscht. What do you shave when you go home and shave? <laughs> Anything that needs shaving. Set you right up there. No, you didn't. <laughs> well, a little bit. No, I shave. Uh, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't shaved my legs this in a while. This is pretty good. I don't need to shave here. You don't? No, I had the uh, electrolysis. <laughs> that must have been My really... eyebrows are painted on. <laughs> that must have been really painful. See? Don't touch them, they'll come right off. All right, we gotta go. Um, so, uh, you wanna throw to the commercials or something? What do I, what do I have to yeah, do? I just look in at the black box and say something. Which one, that one? Yeah. <laughs> it's time for a commercial. Everyone, that was another night of classy entertainment designed for the American family, right, big fella? <laughs> yeah, you are. They'll have a little chocolate dollar there. Help yourself. Go on, use your mouth to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are, big fella. You are. Did you, uh. Can you help? That's how you win an award, folks. <laughs> no, 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 no.